If you can study engineering and, and you figure out how to design new things, um, then um, it's relatively easy to start a company. Um, you just need to get a few like-minded people um, with you. And then I read a lot of books and talked to a lot of, a lot of smart people. Don't just follow the trend. You may have heard me say that it's good to think in terms of physics approach or first principles, uh, which is rather than reasoning by analogy, you boil things down to the most fundamental truths you can imagine and you reason up from there. And this is a good way to figure out if if, if something really makes sense or if it's just what everybody else is doing. It, it, it's hard to think that way. You can't think, think that way about everything. It takes a lot of effort. Uh, but if you're trying to do something new, it's the best way to think. I certainly didn't expect to be, to be uh, for any of these things to happen, honestly. Um, yeah. I, I just knew I, I knew I wanted to be involved in technology. Um, and uh, in fact, the only reason I started a company back in '95, an internet company, was because I couldn't get it. There were only a few internet companies, and I couldn't get a job at any of them. <laughs> so then, um, I tried to get a job at, at Netscape um, and uh, sent my resume in, and I tried hanging out in the lobby, but I was too shy to talk to anyone. And, uh, and then I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll have to start a company because I can't get a job anymore. <laughs> I, I, I think I fear, I feel fear quite strongly. Uh, but I, um, if this, if what we're doing is important, you know, what I'm doing is, I think is important enough, then I just uh, override the fear. Mm -hmm. So, but it's not as though I don't feel, I feel like more strongly than I would like. The thing that uh, drives me is that uh, I want to be able to think about the future and uh, feel good about that. So. Uh, that uh, you know we're doing what we can to uh, have the future be be as good as possible, um, to be inspired by what is likely to happen, um, and to look forward to the next day. Um, so that's that's what really really drives me is is, is trying to figure out uh, how do we how to make sure that things are great yeah. uh, and it's going to be so and. Um, that's the underlying principle behind uh, Tesla and SpaceX. You know, just looking just for evidence of exceptional ability, um, and if there's a track record of exceptional achievement, then it's likely that that will continue into the future.